What's up ladies and gentlemen, Rob coming at you from Rob Rats Fitness and Performance with Everyday Abs. Number 80 baby, coming up on 100. Uh, we have another super fun ab workout for you, quick, functional, gonna blast that core stability today and we're gonna get in some good quality contractions. Uh, so we don't have a six minute workout today. We're gonna go through this and just get the abs burning. So we're gonna start with a one minute plank. If you can't hold for one minute straight, that's fine. Break it up and just go as long as I do or take your time and rest as needed and hit a whole minute. That's up to you how you wanna do it. Or you can just follow along with me and move on as we move on. So we're gonna do a one minute plank. Then we're gonna do 20 V-ups. Then we're gonna do a 45 second plank. 18 V-ups, a 30 second plank hold. 16 V-ups, then we're gonna end with a 15 second plank hold and 14 V-ups. The goal here is to rest as little as possible, to go right from the minute to the 20, to the 45, to the 18, to the 30, to the 16, to the 15, to the 14. That being said, if you do need rest throughout this, if you're blowing up and your reps are looking crappy, I would prefer you rest and get good quality contractions and solid plank holds, then rush through it and you know have crappy loose planks with your back arched or your butt super high you know we want that plank that's definitely want that v up we really want to reach for the toes and get a good contraction and get that subscapula or the shoulder blades if you don't know what the subscapula is up off the ground so for the plank what i'm looking for elbows under the shoulders heels driven behind the toes straight body squeezing the butt and squeezing the core like someone's going to kick you v up we're gonna roll over, we're gonna lay on the ground. Good stiff body. If you can hit a nice hollow position like this, go for it. And if we're coming up, reaching for those toes, back down, reaching for the toes, back down. If you need to lay the legs on the ground, if that hollow position is too hard, feel free. Let's just say your V-up is looking more like this. All right, try this. Lead with the upper body for me. Leave the legs down. Do a straight leg sit up, then pull your legs up, back down. Straight leg sit up, pull your legs up. You're still gonna feel a nice burn in those abs, and what happens more often than not is you do a few of those leading with the upper body, then all of a sudden, that neuromuscular connectivity starts to be created and you can link them together a little better. Um, so again, leave with the upper body. If you still can't do it, do a tuck up. So pretty much the same concept except we're tucking to a ball back down and you can hold the hollow position for that one as well. Again, if that's just a little too tough, lead with the upper body, tuck the knees. Um, and that strength and the conditioning will develop doing it that way and then before you know it, you won't need to lead with that upper body. So that's our two movements. Let's get into it. I'm gonna use my watch for the planks. Again, we're gonna be trying to rest as little as possible, but go at your own pace. Just because I'm moving a little faster doesn't mean anything. We're all at different levels here. I'm just gonna move smooth, I'm gonna move steady, and I'm just gonna try to keep consistent movement going, and I'm really gonna try not to break up those planks. And I'd like you to have those same goals. But again, if you do need to break up the plank, feel free to drop the knees, take a big breath, kick the butt back up, and move on with me, or use your own timer and accumulate that whole minute. That's up to you. Uh, as long as it burns and you're getting quality reps, I'm happy. Are you ready? Let's do it up, baby. Get ready for that plank. Three, two, one, here we go. Hold in one solid minute, heels behind the toes, straight body, squeeze in the abs. Good work. Breathe. Good stiff body, strong core, tight glutes. Keeping all the muscles snug, but staying relaxed at the same time. I know that sounds weird, but you don't want to be super torqued up everywhere. Good tight glutes and core, and then try to relax uh, the rest of the body as much as you can. The hands, and things like that. 15 seconds. Good, guys. Big breaths. Three, two, one, flip it over, right into 20 V-ups. Here we go. One, two, reach for those toes. Three, breathe out, each rep. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, eighteen, nineteen. One more, guys. Twenty. Excellent work. Roll over. Get ready for that forty. Five second plank. Go ahead. Good, right into the fight. Make it burn, baby. Good job, guys, excellent. Elbows under the shoulders, tight core. Heels behind the toes. 20 seconds. Feel that core work, stay and stable. This type of work will greatly help your squat, keeping a taller chest, driving the ground down, that back not collapsing. Drop it. Good, 18 B ups, right into it. Here we go. One, reach for those toes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, live, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nice work, guys. Big breath, thirty second plank. Two, one, go ahead, thirty seconds. That's it. Looking good. Fight. Quick, functional. Every day at workouts, baby. All right, 15 seconds. Now, without moving your body, think about pulling your elbows to the hips, but don't let the body move. Use your abs trying to pull the elbows to the hips. It's gonna make that core nasty. Squeeze in. Rest. Good job, rolling over. 16 beams. Oh, I'm sweating, baby. You got this, here we go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Awesome work, guys. Roll it over. Three, two, one. Fifteen second plank again. Pull those elbows to the hips. Squeeze. Don't let the body move. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Fifteen seconds. Come on. Squeeze in five more seconds. Two, one. Right over. 14 VMs. Here we go. One, two, three. Keep fighting. Almost done. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 13, 14. Awesome work, guys. If you're still going, keep fighting for it. Go to your own pace. Remember, quality reps over quantity. That was a burner. It was quick, effective, about five minutes. A little shorter than normals, but just because it's short doesn't mean it can't be effective and make us better. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a blast, and as always, stay fit.